Anders Zorn was a Swedish artist who lived from 1860 to 1920. He was predominantly a portrait painter. But he only used four colors in his palette, cadmium red, yellow ochre, ivory black, and titanium white. I've tried a few Zorn palette paintings myself, and I was really happy with the results of a limited palette. So we're going to start today by making a Zorn color chart. In the very middle will be a triangle where we will mix yellow, red, and black. At each point of those triangles, we're going to have other color areas, one for black, one for red, and one for the yellow. Sometimes I like to write in where the colors are going to go. Black, red, and yellow. I'll use white for the outer boxes. So now I'm ready to paint. Let me show you a few things you might need. I have a glass jar with water in it, and I add some liquid detergent so you can wash your brushes. I need some brushes. I need a tube of black oil paint, a tube of white, a tube of yellow ochre, and a tube of red. I also need a palette or scrap paper for color mixing. Put the colors on your palette first. All we need for right now is red, yellow, and black. We'll use white a little bit later on. Always mix your colors on the palette, not on your color chart. That's very important. This is what your Zorn color chart should look like when you're finished. start with the three basic colors and the three triangles. In the very middle, I mix all three colors together. And then in between the triangles, I do gradients mixing colors from one into the other. And then to the outside, in the little squares, I'll add white to get lighter tints from those different colors. Now I can add some white to my palette so I can start to add some tints to the outer part of my Zorn color chart. It's very important to remember to do all of your color mixing on your palette, not on the color chart. A tint is when you add white to a color. 
So I start with my three basic colors and I add white to them. And now I'll start to do the tints of my other colors that were mixed on the palette. Make sure to wash your brushes in between mixing of each color. It's amazing how many different colors you can actually get from just four basic tubes of paint. Here's your results, the Zorn color chart. Now we're ready to make a painting. 